So I'm gonna start another painting video. Um, I wanna, right now the only thing I can get myself self to work on is some comic cover paintings because that's basically the only thing that's I'm inspired by right now. Everything else just this ain't cutting it. So um, I got a stack of comics here that I that I have that are my favorite covers and this one seems to be the best one um, this Punisher one pretty simple um, image with a centered uh, subject like the guy there uh, there's some plastic over it so he can't really there's too much of a glare on it but that's what I'm going to do up here using this ancient paper that I had floating around in my boxes. I figured I'd use it. So, I mean, I'm not going to, I've re recently come to the conclusion that I, well, this is some purple there, so I'm going to start with some purple. I've come to the conclusion that I, I was, I've been suggesting people use a reference image as you paint, but uh, actually, let me let me spray this canvas down, this paper down with water. What makes it paint go over better? Um, I've been recommending people use a reference image when they paint, but it may not be a good idea because I've been sitting here procrastinating because I was thinking about how hard it is to look at the reference image and paint at the same time and it, I just didn't want to do it. It makes it harder when you got to try to nitpick what you want to paint or what you have to paint when you're looking at a reference image and that adds an element of difficulty and it could bog you down to where you don't want to paint so I've come to that conclusion that I'm not gonna what I'm gonna what I suggest doing now is there's a castle there what I suggest doing now is just take out your reference image before you even open up your take the lid off your palette there of paint get all your reference images and on the whether they be on the computer or books or comic books or whatever you have, get them all out and look at them, and pick your favorite ones that you feel like painting. Let me get some paint on here. Some blue. Let's see where's my ultramarine? There it is. Um, let me spray my canvas again. More paint. A nice purple going there. What I suggest you do is get all your reference images together. Leave room for the Punisher. Um, and just look at them. And then when you're ready to paint, Somewhat, see, I'm not gonna. What I'm saying is, I'm not gonna sit here and look at this and study every detail because it that just takes the fun out of it. I'm just gonna pick my favorite image and I'm just gonna have it all in my head as much as I can. The paint's too dry. I let it I let it dry too too much before. I let it sit too for too long get an image in my head of what I want to paint and then just go from what I inside of my head without relying too much on that looking at that constantly that, that's much better much better uh, technique because what I'm gonna do this is a simple image but if you 
pick one that has a lot of characters in it or a lot of colors. This is my this is my way. I'm just gonna make every every image have a centered, easy thing in the middle, and the rest is gonna be kind of hazy around it. Still keeping all the all the colors that are in there, but make it kind of hazy looking. It doesn't take much effort to paint because I'll because I'll just wind up with a painting that's good enough, satisfy my. Um, What's the word? Needs. And that's all that matters because, I mean, all, you're going to get a good finished piece just by doing that without putting a whole crap load of detail in it. Okay, I want to... I think you get what I'm saying so I can stop talking about it. Mm, it's about all the purple color in there, but there's some dark. I like this little black thing. I like to make, because I, I, I want this to actually look like a comic. Make it look somewhat like an image is there. Square it up. And we've got a castle. Yeah, I suggest you get it mostly in your head. Don't don't try to get every detail that's in your reference image. And this is basically just a uh, impressionist painting, but it's a of a comic. I kind of invented that, I guess. No one's doing impressionist painting of comics. I want more black in this castle. That's kind of a head coming up in the middle there. He's got a pretty black sh shading underneath him on his chest area there, coming down into his leg. His arms out that way, another arm out this way. Kind of looks like the Shawshank. Andy Dufresne escaped him from Shawshank. That's what that image looks like. Yeah, it looks like a somewhat like a man there. I got too much black on my brush. Let's get all the black in here while we have it. There's some black down here with the skull over. That's my skull. How crappy does that look? Um, get all the black in there. Some lines. Head in there better. A tree branch. This tree comes up through there. I don't know. If I'm not paying attention. I just do some tree branches in here and put some. Let's see, the Punisher. Some rocks. See, I'm already nit I'm already nitpicking here, and I didn't want to do that. But I, I tell you what, you know, to get, you can nitpick, I guess, if you feel like you have to once you get started painting. But to get yourself started to paint so you don't think it's going to be too much work, do what I suggested, what I, what I was suggesting early on there. 
just get a vision in your head of the basic colors you want and then put those put that on there to pretty much almost have a finished painting with the with just the basic colors that you liked from that image just to get yourself going and say oh, I'm not going to put a bunch of work into this it's pretty much tell that to yourself so you can just get yourself going and then somehow when you get yourself going that it gets easier to do work a little harder the hardest part is getting the, taking the top the lid off this thing that takes pretty much nerves of steel because once you take that lid off of this you get you pretty much know you're gonna have to sit there for a couple hours and do a bunch of work that's why it's so hard some more of that tree in there Doesn't look like a good enough branch I guess the tree is supposed to come down like that. Okay, let me put that brush away. Get my smaller brush going. Okay, it looks like I got a brownish brown and white color to put on here that I'm supposed to put on here kind of a brownish white let me spray it again that spray will save you Send this paint out. That spraying will save you a, a lot of work that you don't have to do. Some yellowish color coming up underneath there, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. Try to use all this. Try to use this pile of paint I got going to do everything else. Some more white on there. Uh, but I've been too much white. I guess those rocks were kind of reddish brown, white, reddish brown. But this is supposed to fade into light colored yellow. See if I wasn't looking at the reference image, I wouldn't be trying to put all this detail in here. I mean, the brown I think adds to it, but it might have been good enough just with this color here, plus a few parts of some other. You only really need two or three colors to make a acceptable image. Maybe I'll just forget about that yellow do what I preach here and just leave some stuff out to make it easier. Oh, I need, you're supposed to be running through water there, so I gotta put that in there. But let me this touched up. I still got extra paint on there. That's why it's good I always have a little extra canvas to wipe your excess. But I can't do it, so I'm gonna wash the brush. I'm not even using a rag to dry it off with anymore here, like I was on the other paintings I did. So, turquoise, white. It's kind of a dark. Got a bunch of, I got a, I got a pool of water deck going down here. Some more paint. My paint's dried up. I was too lazy to add more paint. Uh, well, let me get the basic color in here before I add any. It's kind of black, dark on there, so let me just add the color in there first. 
and then, see there's supposed to be rocks see these rocks I'm gonna maybe I'll leave those out too or there's supposed to be foam sea foam on the top of this water I might put that in there I like putting foam on water um, yeah I guess that's oh I said I was gonna put some black let's get some black on there oops nah, I better nah, you know maybe that'll work just kinda barely touching the paper kind of wisp some dark spots, waves or whatever in there. Yeah. And I gotta fix that up there and then I gotta put the Punisher. That's the hardest part is putting text in there. It's not very fun. Let me wash this butt brush off. Okay, got like a kind of a crimson color going there, but or hot pink there. I don't have any of that. Maybe I can make something with red and red and purple. Yeah, I got a glare, kind of a head. Maybe just it's supposed to be a. Marv, I might have to put that marble color in there. And this is going to be it's supposed to be, say, prison there. Some pretty. Uh, I probably should do that with a smaller brush. Mm. Okay. Wash the brush. Yeah, I'm not even drying it. I'm not even going to mess with drying it because I forgot to grab my rag, knock the paint off or the water off. Okay. Yeah, this, this is the part where it starts to get not very fun. So I'm finish this this up. Yeah. Gotta mess that foul that up. Maybe it's just more of the castle further back right there. Okay. And that's just basically orange. Um let me quickly get the jeans color in there, his pants. Kind of looks just like a this solid glue here. Got rips and stuff in his pants. Nah, I don't know if I like that. Add some turquoise color to that. Some white. Keeping the rips in there. No, it's not too good, is it? The color doesn't really... Eh, maybe. I'll just leave it like that. It's got some of that same color wisping through there. The shirt's all torn up. Kind of looks like a torn up shirt. And there's your bandage. It's supposed to be bandages around his head. Let me see if I can get the Punisher part up there. Knock the water off. It's kind of supposed to be a whitish color yellow, but that's going to take. 
Yeah, I better put some white in there. You. Why, oh, that's a lot of words. S, in the middle, I, H. Try to get somewhat look on. I'll, I'll put it with the red when I use. Let me get some red on there. Let's see. The P way over here. The U. What? The dirty brush. I got some black on it or something. Let's see. It's supposed to be N. I. S. H E R. Better look at make it look more like an R. Yeah, you can read it. Punisher, the Punisher. Not looking too shabby. Let me break up this. Blues color, I don't care for it. Okay, now. Let me try to put some of these red uh, finishing. It looks like he's got blood or something. Some cuts or something right there spewing out. Kind of sets it off. Oop, that might have been too much. Looks like his leg, he's being shot or something by. Yeah, his brush is too big. So that's his blood, I guess. Probably should add some black. Wash that off and add some black because it's too too much red in there and this is I don't this is a terrible red color this Liquitex red is terrible right, how does that look I'd say it looks pretty good make it look more like a branch Coming off this, yeah, no, it looks like a tree. This castle is not cutting the mustard here, so it might have made it look worse. And I guess it's kind of flat right there. Better square that up, square this up here. Put those streaks back in there. It kind of wisp through there, like it's fog or something. And that probably didn't really help help matters, but. I kind of fucked things up there, didn't I? Eh, maybe I could fix it. That's what happens. Everything's going right. and right. Paint's almost done. You do something to foul it up. Like I just did. Let's see. It's white and brown. Maybe just some white. I think it's supposed to be it was supposed to be fog like or something, but this plain black ain't gonna cut the mustard. Let 
Okay. Uh, let's see, that might be good enough. I was thinking about, yeah, that's good enough, I guess. Put maybe I'll put a skull down there. But this video is already 25 minutes long, so. There it is. Quick painting. Took me 25 minutes. Okay, catch you later.